How powerful really was Jesus? When you think about like power and ability, what, how powerful was Jesus? Now, not like a superhero, but Jesus literally could calm the storm. So if you've ever been in a really bad storm, you've been caught in the lake and a storm comes up, they're pretty nasty. Jesus can literally calm those storms. We see it in scripture and a better example than Smith Lake. But we also know that Jesus brings us from death to life. We're dead in our sins, but Jesus makes us alive in him to where we can be reconciled and be good with God and be with him for eternity. If you don't hear anything else, because I know sometimes it's hard to, to focus, if you don't hear anything else, hear that. Hear that Jesus can literally bring us from death, our death and our sin. He makes us alive in him. Today, I'm going to look at a passage from Luke 8, where Jesus literally calms the storm. Very brief, really quick. Um, obviously, we're not meeting together. We're back, kind of went back in time. And here we are kind of meeting from my home on Instagram TV and YouTube. But something's preventing us from being together, and that's okay, because we still have technology, and we're able to meet this way. So, in Luke chapter 8... We'll go through this, then I have some, some announcements at the end, and, and we'll kind of wrap up. In Luke chapter 8, starting in verse 22, it says this. One day Jesus told his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake. They had been preaching and leading on one end, and he's literally saying, let's go to the other end. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. Jesus took a nap. Jesus took naps. It's all right if you want to take one just not during this. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall or wind came out on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. So the waves are going up and down, big squall like waves. The disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind, literally got up and said, Hey, cool it, wind. And the raging waters, the storm subsided and all was calm. He literally just calmed a storm right there. And he looked at his disciples. He said, where is your faith? In fear and amazement, they asked one another, who is this? He commands even the winds and the water and they obey him. So right here, his disciples, his disciples have, they kind of go up and down in, in, in faith in a lot of times and you know, they they have chosen to follow Jesus, but they don't fully understand who Jesus is. And he literally calms the storm, this big raging storm. Not not a not a shower that comes out on the on the lake. Really their lake is a gigantic lake, it's more like a sea, and it and it comes up with these winds and their boat's just going up and down and you can imagine getting really seasick and, and Jesus literally says, you know, stop and everything stops it becomes calm again because jesus has that power jesus has the power to be able to calm storms and literally right there the disciples were like what who is this guy and jesus even asked them where is your faith he's been with them for a while and there's if they've watched him do miraculous things and they're still not fully bought in well, you and I have the full story of Scripture, and we know that Jesus literally died on the cross for our sins. He took what we deserved. He died on the cross, was buried, and then rose again. So Jesus defeated death. And because of that, if we put our faith in him, in a way we can, def I don't know if I want to say defeat death, but we will have eternity. We will spend eternity with him. We will spend eternity with God, and we will be saved. And so... Jesus had the power ultimately right there to calm the storms. And then it, you know, Jesus can save us, right? He can calm a different kind of storm. And so Jesus can literally give us new life. Is that powerful? And I think it's important for us to understand how powerful that is and why. And, you know, we've been talking about different things about Jesus. Just different things about Jesus, just to know better. And I think the power of Jesus is something that we've got to try to begin to wrap our head around. We'll never fully understand. We have the miraculous signs here. 
we have the resurrection. We have the fact that he calmed literally seas um, and storms and made it easier for them to pass. And we know Jesus took naps and taking naps are good. So it's important for us to kind of try to comprehend the power of Jesus and the ultimate power. We can talk about how Jesus can calm storms in our own life, and we can, uh, but I think it's more important to know that Jesus can give us true salvation. And it's only Jesus that gives us true salvation. So I just like that story. I think that's a pretty cool story of literally when, when everything you're freaking out about, are we going to capsize? Are we going to drown? What's going to happen? And Jesus literally rebuked and stopped the raging storm all around him because he was that powerful. Jesus had the power and the authority to do those things. I'm so sorry that we couldn't be together tonight. I was looking forward to it, but, you know, things happen. We live in a very unique time right now. I know all of you know that. Uh, as you get ready and you get geared up for school, I have a couple of things coming up that we can be together on. Sunday mornings, we begin meeting once again. We all meet together in the little garage area. Uh, social distance, if you want to wear a mask, I highly encourage. It's not mandated, it's not forced, but please, if you have a mask, wear one. But we'll meet on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. in the student building, in the garage. All the chairs are set apart, so there's plenty of space. On this upcoming a week, or next Tuesday, July 28th, we, are gonna, we have reserved the Fayette Water Park like we did last year. This time it is just for junior high on the 28th. So if you're going into, you're going to be junior high in this upcoming school year. So if you just finished sixth grade and you just finished seventh grade, this is for you. The church will not have transportation. We'll have to figure out parents getting there, but that is what we're gonna do this July 28th, Fayette Water Park. High schoolers, or if, you're, if you've just completed eighth through 11th grade, We've reserved it again for you guys Wednesday, August 12th. So that'll be the day we'll have. Wednesday, August 12th is when we'll have uh, a high school version of the Fayette Water Park. We've got it reserved out. It's all ours. And then the big thing that we want to do to kind of end the summer is on August 16th, which is a Sunday late afternoon in the heat, we're going to do a water war. Thousands of water balloons, water guns, buckets of water, just all out chaos. That's August 16th on Sunday. So put that in your calendar, all those in your calendars, July 28th, junior high, uh, August 12th on a Wednesday for the high school, and then water war on uh, Sunday, August the 16th. So if you need anything, feel free to, to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're all doing well. And remember, Jesus saves. See you guys later.